Johnson, let's get to your business now. TEU, this yes. is a cryptocurrency using the same sort of blockchain technology as Bitcoin has. Yes. Why? Well, so, um, what does um, TEU stand for? So TEU stands for so, 20 foot so, equivalent unit. It's a standard unit of a container box. So what we do is uh, we issue uh, a coin, so, like a uh, kind of a big coin for shipping. So it's, yeah. effectively it's a container? Yeah, it's a container. So we name it as an alpha container unit. So, um, and then so, um, yeah, what we issue is a uh, crypto coin. So for the shipping industry to use, potentially, just as a money for themselves. So, um, Does each coin then represent a container? So um, it depends on the valuation of the coin. So um, globally, so every container box of freight rate costs about 700 to 800 US dollars per TEU. So if our TEU also value at 700 and 800 per coin, so then yeah, then one of our coin equivalent to one TEU. But um, so yeah. that, well, I mean, what, what, what's it used for, and what will it be used for? At the beginning, so I suggest that um, the liners, because uh, we're going to give it to them and give it to the customers, uh, for them to use it as a booking deposit. So the story I can add a bit more color is uh, for shipping, for liner shipping, it's quite a nice airline. So customers, when they make the booking, they don't need to put down a deposit. So if they don't show up, there's no consequence. And then it's a vicious cycle, right? The liner also overbooked their space. So the customers in the peak season show up and thought that they get a booking, but they couldn't get on board. So, so, so um, now that they've been thinking about it, spending millions of dollars to try to fix it. So they think about bank guarantees, um, think about cash deposit, think about penalty, but they all involve costs. And you're asking customers to put cash on the table. But now with this token, so the creation of it is actually very cheap. We can give it to the liner and to the customer to use as a deposit. And the backup of the value is the secondary market. So that's what we're doing. We're going to take it on ICO next week, I mean this week. So we sell it and create a secondary market. So, so I, but it, I mean, it's a cryptocurrency. Why, why would people use this one and not Bitcoin or perhaps one of the other 200 odd cryptocurrencies out there at the moment? Well, so for the industry to use Bitcoin, they had to buy it. <laughs> but this one, I just need to list it in the exchange, get a secondary market. And then for the portion that we are not selling, I can give it to them. They can use it. They can benchmark the secondary market and say, hey, those things are valuable. It's given to us for free. But just like if I give you $10,000, you don't want to lose it. So when you make booking, you'll be more careful, you'll be more disciplined. So I think the beauty of it is it creates value. We, alloc we allocate capital from the crypto world to the real world. At the same time, fix a problem of an industry that's quite vital to the global And you've trade. got the ledger, of course, which I suppose then makes it more seamless. Oh, yes. That's, that's um, point. That will be yeah. all visible, open source. So, um, yeah, get all the advantage of other blockchain technologies. Johnson, thank you so much yeah. for, uh, for joining us today. Johnson Lung there from 300qubits.tech, uh, creating a container shipping-focused cryptocurrency called TEU.